Hey guys, this is all streamed at. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of FIFA 22 with our player career with uh, Sutton United. We're in the EFL Championship League. We're not doing too good. We've won 10, and we've lost and drawn a total of 9. I believe that's right. Um, or it's the other way around where we've won 9, and we've uh, drawn or lost 10. Um, but anyway, we are one point ahead of the bottom of the table, and we have games today against Charlton Athletic and Bournemouth. So let's get into today's games and see if we can't um, see if we can't start climbing the table again. And here we go. Uh, we are against Charlton Athletic. Keeping me company in the commentary box. And we are 20, 24th. Is very much on live action from 23rd. Stuart, your expectations? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that control. Oh, big chance! Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Dangerous looking attack. Okay. So they might be in just for a second or two. Right, let's send it over to Alex because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Birmingham game. It's a goal for Birmingham City. It was a low driven cross into a crowded area, but he So that was a legal tackle. That move off. Okay. Got the opener here with only 3 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Good-looking ball. Not out of the woods yet. Offside. Oh, and a wonderful stop. But hang on. Offside is the decision here. Well, I'm sure when it comes to our hosts, they don't really want to be reminded of this, but it is a fact. They have the leakiest defence in the league, Stuart. Well, at times this season, they've been so disorganized at the back, and I think their main problem has been their midfield, who just don't work hard enough out of possession. And there we go. We've got today. the ball. I believe changing circumstances in the Birmingham game. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Peterborough United. They're back level. It's one all with 10 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. All right. Well, we're doing what we can. That's all we can do. Morgan for Stokaski George Dobson and the decision okay here Not terrible. Could be troublesome. Must take That's wide. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know. Okay. Just the real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Bro. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Got it. We're up by one. The opening goal in this contest. All right. Now we just need to hold it. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. And that is number 15 on the year. 1-0 then. Excellent defending. Wow. And I'm hearing in my headphones there's been a goal at Bramall Lane. Alex Scott. Yep, it's 
So goal for Sheffield United. It's now 1-0 with 24 minutes. There we go. We got the ball. Right up to date. Jakobsen. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Okay, I messed that one up. Jake Forster Kasky. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Pulls it back. Okay. Going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. They've regained possession. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had much less of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent well, performance. Well, I might be so hurt. Intercepting it intelligently. Get up. Jaden Stockley. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Well, they continue their push for the equalizer, but okay, come on. Forcing it. All right, let's so see what we do here. For what will be a goal kick. Okay, we're not out. I think we might be good. Um, we're not good. Not yet. We might be able to walk it off. We'll see. Well, sloppy in possession. Jaden Stockley. Forster Kasky. He's got the right idea with that pass. There we go. Able to get his body in the way. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, great read there to intercept. Jakobsen moving it forward. Can he finish? Got it. We're up by two. All right. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend. I almost, we'll almost strike. passed it. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's hey, we are still goal. hurt, so. Well, a second goal for them here. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Jake Forster Kasky. There it is. We're up by two at the half. And, so it is. and we are still injured, but we're still in it. As anticipated, second half against Charlton Athletic. So we're up by far. two. And now the second half is underway. We are the only one that scored. Some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yes, it was a penalty for Millwall. I don't know what he was thinking with that one. Shot way over the bar. The score remains 1-0 with 46 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Okay. Well, that's one for them to pursue. A go and block for now. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Nice. Really okay. Good sure block. Came to nothing. We're defending. Trying to pick out a teammate. Can he put it away? And an update there we from go. The Stoke City Stadium is in order. There's been a goal there. Alex, tell us all about it. Yep, it's a goal for 
Stoke City. It was all in the build-up play for me. So many different players involved. And once the space opened up, he took his chance superbly. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with... Not what I wanted. Alex, thank you very much. And plenty of live football coming your way right here on EA TV. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. And we are up by one. So here it comes. They're going to score another one. I know they are. Well, two one it is here. Okay. Forster Kasky. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, they get themselves level here. Nice. Well, who would dare predict the outcome of matches in the championship? This is one to look forward to live on EA TV. It's Charlton Athletic facing Preston North End. Stockling. And Hyun Beom. And he takes it all. All right. No degree of difficulty at Good save by Buzanas. And I'm hearing in my headphones there's been a goal at Bramall Lane, Alex Scott. Okay, I was just trying to get that away because it was going to be taken away from me whether I wanted it to be or not. Alex with the info as ever. Okay. Deflected wide by Buzanas. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Well, off target. Way off target. Okay. Well, I think the defender just about did enough there, but that was a chance. Well, as you can see from those stats, their creativity has been really good. They've dominated play at times. They've got the ball into the final third with great ability. But when they've got it there, the finishing just hasn't been good enough. And that's been their problem. Well, not cleared away completely. Nice, we're up by two. And that was Randall. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play. Offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get... And we are up by two. Now well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. There we go. Superbly read and executed. Just failing to hit the I'm injured, otherwise I would have had a hat trick. I just could not outrun him. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Just 15 minutes remaining. And a change to the scoreline in the Stoke game. Alex Scott has all the information for us. Yeah, it's a second for Millwall. It's now 2-1 with 76 minutes played. Thanks for the oh, he squandered the chance, and he knows it. Well, it wouldn't have counted. Yep, he was offside, was okay. Offside, but nonetheless, that was a poor attempt. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. 12 minutes to go. Could be dangerous. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Who can they pick out? And the no-nonsense clearance. Opportunity. Wow. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, still an issue here. 
A very timely interception. There we go. Give him a red. Like Only a yellow. For Sean Clare. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Jakobsen. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Rowe. Randall. Nope. And giving it away. Did not work out. Useful looking ball. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Okay. Well, it looks so promising. <coughs> kick the outcome. Three minutes of stoppage. And in the perfect position to read it. Okay, we're up by two. I'm not worried, so Jaden, stop we've me. got the win. It's in the bag. Well, they need to get tighter. Promising possession, this. He's given us away. There we go. We've won and by two. Okay, so I have a letter from the senior physiotherapist. We've been injured with an extended knee. We're going to be out for four weeks. And we draw against AFC Bournemouth without me playing. And we lose to fourth place Coventry City four to two, and we lose to eighteenth place Millwall two to one, and we lose one to nothing against Swansea City, and in a fight at the bottom of the table we beat Sutton United two to one, and we are coming in as a substitute for Wilson against West Bromwich and Albion, and we need a goal or an assist to have a dribble success rate of at least thirty percent. And we're going to go for a 7.5 match rating. Really a very poor ball. There we go. We have the ball. The edge of the opposing attack. Jakobsen. Oh, that's a really good run. And. Must take the lead oh, here. we had that. We had that. We had that. We should have the lead right now. It's a second goal for Blackburn Rovers. The goalkeeper has spilled it back into the danger area, and he is there to slot the ball into the back of the net. Nice. Okay, we've got the ball. By two with 65 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. And that was a very fun. Okay, he got his foot in the way of a pass. Forward effectively. Mowat. Oh, and that was deflected fast. wide. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And a corner there that really lacked guile. Right, Alex, quickly. Yeah, hey, I couldn't do you. anything with that. Riverside, exactly what? Yep, second one for Stoke City. He just oh, gave on, up on that. He had it and gave up on it. And I don't understand why. To go to the bench. Another short corner routine. Eric Gutierrez. Firing it towards goal. And of course, we're down by one. Why can't they just allow me to play a good game and get what I deserve? Well, apologies for interrupting, Alex. 
To confirm Stoke did score in that game, and they're locked together in a thriller now at 2-2. But he keeps going. Get in there. Real chance. It's still alive. And they survived the attack. And I'm hearing the ball in the net in the Reading game. Alex, this could level it. Oh, a that was a horrible it shot. Goalkeeper has it. Extremely weak. So almost at full time, and it hasn't quite gone to plan for the visitors, has it? Stuart, interested to get your take as always. Well, their attacking play has been too slow. It's lacked penetration, and at times it's looked devoid of ideas. But can that change in the final few minutes here? It only needs one moment of magic. Options in the center. There we go. Top class defending. Counter attacking, very much an option. Well, we had to interrupt Alex in full flow there. Apologies for that. To confirm, Reading have scored in that game, but still on the wrong end of the scoreline, trailing 2 1. A real opening now. Ball is loose. We are tied. Oh, An equalizer in the closing stages. Wow, okay. Well, as you can see, we're doing everything that we one, possibly can. Quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. So underway again here on the back of that leveler. Ooh. Eric Gutierrez. Mowat. Still pushing for a winner. Bad pass. And breaking developments at the Riverside Stadium. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. It's now level at 3 3 with eight. I want Thanks as the ball. Alex Scott. Well, they've lost the ball. But he could really get at the opposition. But nothing comes of it. Well, these fans are pushing their team on here. They sense a winner's coming. Now can they counter clinically? Okay, yep, and they're just going to back right up. They're not going to... They're not going to go after it. And he's clear his lines. Well, he's won the ball. Okay, well, we'll at least take one point away unless they score here. Okay. A point apiece. It's a draw. Okay, and... We are in the 63rd minute. Um, we're going to go for a match rating of 7.5. Down by two against Birmingham. And this will be the final game of the episode. Uh, we're not in the relegation zone anymore. We are, I believe it was 19th. Alex Scott with the details. Yeah, it was a penalty for West Brom. He hit it straight down the middle. Keep it in Wow. Okay. With 64 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. There to win it back. He's not really. And the ball's gone. Why can they not get to the ball? Cosgrove. Are they really that slow? He's got to score, and a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an yeah, he's in great form, but he's given up that two goals brilliant. already. Short corner it is. Okay, with news of a goal in the Luton game, it's over to Alex Scott. Alex. 
It's a third for Luton Town. They're ahead by three now with 68 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Um, yeah, I couldn't step back to that one. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Now the attack looks promising. No worries for the keeper. Jakobsen foiling them effectively. Okay. Good technique displayed. Graham. Is it going to be? And there we go. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. And a goal to let you know about in the Cardiff City game. Here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for West Brom. They're ahead by two now with 76 minutes played. Stuff so far Why? Alex keeping us Why did he pass today. there? I don't get it. Oakley. It's with Graham. Fine sequence of passes. Riley McGree. And the ball with Lecco. Ivan Sanchez. Cosgrove and blocked for now. Oh, come on! Losing possession. Well cleared away. Just ten minutes to go. Running with the ball confidently. Oh, big chance. What a save. A no nonsense defensive clearance. This is horrible. Graham. Right, from what I'm hearing, something has changed in the Cardiff game. Let's get the information from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Cardiff City. They are losing 2 1 with 84 minutes played. What a game we have here, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. A foul, but advantage played. Ryan Woods. Five minutes to go. Okay. Christian Pedersen. McGree. Cosgrove. And a long way out here. Well, actually pretty easy for the goalkeeper in the end. Well, he's given us away. Graham. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Credit to them for winning back possession. Go, go, go. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they take advantage of the situation? That's a routine take. Nobody can keep up with me. That's the problem. Everybody on the other team minute. can, but none of my teammates can. Riley McGree. And that's the game we've lost by there two. The final and after all of today's games, you can see that we are now in 20th. And uh, you can see that there is an eight-point gap between 18th and 19th. So it's going to be a huge jump to get there. And I'm not sure if we can do it, but as long as we don't go down um, to EFL League 1, I think we're going to be fine. And in the next episode, it looks as though we have Bournemouth in EFL Championship. And then we have the round of 64 game against Burnley. I would like to win that game and get to the round of 32. But that is going to be in the next episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is All Stream That. Hit the like button if you do like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to be notified every time I post a video. 
and follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. The links will be in the description below. Have a wonderful day.